this is your workout for Tuesday, uh, May 5th, the dumbbell at home workout. So we're gonna kick it off with five minutes uh, of work, a five minute AMRAP. We're gonna do six uh, kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings, followed by six goblet reverse lunges, and then two thrusters on each side. So for the kettlebell swings, you can go double or single arm, swing, keep that weight uh, above the knee, and then we're going eye level here, okay? You could do three and three, or you could just alternate arms every other round. Then you're holding that dumbbell in that goblet position and doing six reverse lunges, okay? And after that, we're going into the thrusters. So two on the right arm and then two on the left arm. The thruster is a full squat into a press, okay? After those five minutes, you're going to move into some squatting um, for your strength training today. So you have two options. If you have access to a barbell um, and a rack, we're gonna be doing back squats. And you're gonna be doing one set of three back squats every 45 seconds for 10 sets, okay? The goal across the 10 sets is to build in weight every other set. Okay, so if I'm starting at 100 pounds, my first set, I'm gonna repeat that again for my second set. The third set, I would bump up and wait again. Um, they're not speed squats or tempo squats um, on the back squats, but if you don't have access to a barbell, you'll be using uh, a dumbbell for goblet squats and they will be speed squats. So you're gonna do one set of 10 goblet squats every 45 seconds, okay? So just speed, meaning you're moving as quickly as you can, still going through that full range of motion, right? So you're pulling yourself down, much like we would in an air squat, and then trying to stand up nice and quick, opening up those hips without the pause at the top, okay? So 10 reps, as fast as you can over the course of those 10 sets. Um, so you're gonna end up getting in 100 really good, powerful goblet squats um, within a really short amount of time. After that, we're gonna move into a nice um, spicy workout. It's 10 rounds for time of 10 thrusters and then 10 push-ups. So this is meant to be a high intensity workout. We are aiming to do really quick sets, unbroken sets, um, only rest would be as you transition from movement to movement. Um, for the thrusters, if you have access to a barbell, again, you can use that. It would be 75 pounds for guys, 55 for the ladies is prescribed, and then scale down as needed so that you can do all of your sets unbroken. Um, just like we did in the warm up on our thrusters, we're looking for those elbows to be high, whether you're using a dumbbell uh, or a barbell, right? So elbows pointing forward through the squat. We wanna get full depth in the bottom of that squat and making sure we're being explosive as we drive up overhead um, and lock out those arms, trying to open up the shoulders so we're not finishing it in front of our body. We have that barbell clearly over our center of mass, okay? Um, so if you don't have the barbell, you'll use whatever dumbbells you have access to. Uh, you could use two lighter dumbbells or one heavier dumbbell uh, and go five and five on each side. The push-ups, we're gonna look for something that we could do in one to two sets per round, okay? So if you need to scale by going either to uh, an elevated surface like a, a bench or a table, uh, go ahead and do that. Or if you need to go uh, and do some knee push-ups, that's totally fine. Again, aiming for one to two sets um, per round on the push-ups and those are gonna build up quickly, especially when we're also going overhead on the thrusters, that shoulder fatigue. Uh, it's going to hit us pretty early. So make sure you choose appropriate scaling options so that you can keep moving um, and not spending a whole lot of time resting or staring at the ground. Okay. Um, that is Tuesday's Dumbbell at Home Workout. Have fun.